This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS fundamentals. A function named build bridge is in your workspace. All of the code you need to cross the river is built right in. Uh-huh. You see all of these commands, all of these blocks are what we need to cross a river and it's named build bridge. Snap the small green build bridge block into your workspace twice to fix the path and get Steve to the redstone torch. So, and what it's going to do, it's twice because we need two bridges. All right, so all of this code is called a function. Functions are used constantly in programming. If you, instead of having to write this over and over throughout our program, if we wanted to build a bunch of bridges, we could create build bridge, sit it somewhere else, and then just Choop, run it every time we want it by saying its name. So when we say the name, the computer says, Bill Bridge, what's that? Uh, let me find, oh, here it is. And it will start running this code. Once it's done, it runs through each line of this, hits the bottom, right? It would go back to where we asked it to, Build Bridge, and run the next thing underneath of it. So now it's going to run it, hit the bottom, drop back to where we were, next line, and now run it again. Let's try. That looks good to me. And so we ran, notice where the yellow highlight is? This is the last thing it ran, because each time we asked it to, it went through and run, ran the function. I could now have here go up, and that would work too. We'd run the function, and then I'd go up. Once it was done running those functions, it just keeps running the lines of code. Anyways, let me get this torch. But uh.